Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the date value and the time value functions. So what the date value function does is it takes a date that is represented in a text format and converts it to a serial number. So you can see here there's the Microsoft description of it. So what might happen in these type of situations are that you would get an Excel file that is coming off of a different software program. Maybe it's coming from a database or some other program and it's sending it the file to you in a date format that probably you can't really recognize uh, and do any calculations on. And one of the easiest way to tell if a date, which usually should be aligned to the right, is a text format is it's aligned to the left. So something to keep in mind is when you see values, numerical values, one, two, three, four, five, or something like that, when they're aligned to the right, that means Excel sees them as numbers. When it's aligned to the left, Excel is seeing those as text and can't perform any calculations. So if we wanted to do some calculations on some date values like from and a from date, a start date, and an end date, and how many days or how much, how many hours are in between, we have to convert that to values. So one of the ways we can do that is with the date value command. So the date value command is pretty basic. Basically, you just type in date value. Let me go ahead and tab this to complete it. It will enter that. And all you need to do is enter the date text. So maybe, for the most part, you probably have it in another cell, and maybe you want to put this date value function into a formula. So when I press enter, it's going to turn it into a serial number. Now the serial number, you can actually turn that into a recognizable date because the way the Excel sees dates, again, is it sees this as a serial number. So 40,179 in Excel, that serial number, is seen as January 1st, 2010. And if we wanted to convert that into something that's viewable as a date, we just go under uh, in the Home tab, go under Number, go into General, select that and click the short date or long date. I'll go ahead and click the short date. And you can see now we have 1-1-2010 it's converted that text-based date into a date that Excel can see as a number and also perform calculations on it. So if I kind of copy it down, I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle here and copy it down, you'll see that it has converted various other text uh, representations of a date into a date that Excel views as a number and can perform calculations on. You'll notice that there's some exceptions. This value error message is basically saying that it doesn't see this cell as text to convert it into a number format. So there's other ways that we can actually convert these into dates. Um, this is kind of outside of the video, but basically there's another way you can do it. You can take these dates. So let me go ahead and select these dates. Control C to copy. Let me put them over here. Control V to paste. Let me go ahead and double click to increase to auto fit uh, this column size. So the other way to do it is to convert these text-based dates into a value-based date where Excel can perform calculations is go under the data tab, go under text to columns, and we're going to go uh, skip step one. We'll accept those. We'll accept uh, this, step, step two. But for step three, we're going to change that to a date. So once we do that, click finish. You'll notice that it's changed the first two to dates. These are really recognizable dates. But for the last one, it's actually changed it into a number. Now, really, that's the number here that was represented as text because it's aligned to the left. Basically, it just moved it over to the right and turned it into a number. But it really hasn't changed that into a date. This date format is an ISO format. And I have another video to show you how to change uh, a date that you get like this into a more numerical date where Excel can recognize it as a date and do calculations. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that particular video uh, in the description later on. But that's how you can use the date value function. The next part of this video is the time value. Now the time value function, I haven't really found um, any practical use for the time value function, but basically what it does is it takes a time value where you have time in text and convert it into time where Excel can view it as a value and perform calculations. So maybe there's some, some practical use there if you have some, uh, so somebody checking in uh, on the same day and then checking out. Uh, and then maybe you're getting that from a different program and you want to put it into an Excel worksheet and it's downloading it as text. Maybe you want to put it into a value which Excel can recognize and perform calculations. That might be the practical function for that. But to use the time value function, it's very simple. You can just do time and then select value. Let me go ahead and double click to select that and click on the time value here. You notice that the time value here 
is aligned to the left, that means that Excel sees that as a text again. If it was aligned to the right, Excel would see that as a value which it could perform calculations. So once I press enter, you'll notice now it changed it into a decimal format which Excel recognizes as a value. So 1 p.m., when you think about that time period, Excel recognizes the, the fractional time period of day uh, from 0 to 24 hours. So starting at uh, past midnight, that's kind of like zero, and then if we, when we get to uh, 11, like 23, 59, 59, which is basically 11, 59, 59 p.m., it would recognize that as this decimal number, 0.9998426. So 0.54 is basically the middle of the day when you think about it, or the half of the time period in that 24-hour time period. Um, 1 p.m. is basically 1,300 hours. So it kind of recognizes that within a 24-hour time period. So as I mentioned before, uh, I didn't really see too much practical use of this uh, unless you wanted to do something where you would calculate uh, check-in and check-out hours uh, in the same day and want to do calculations there. And if you're not getting files that are uh, represented in values in Excel, you can change that with the time, with the time value function. So there's an overview of the date value and time value functions. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.